In 2008, Myrna Filion contracted Guillain-Barre syndrome, an autoimmune disease that attacks the nervous system. And I cannot move from my, uh, hardly move from my toes to my arms. And my voice, I'm having a hard time breathing. Two years later, she moved to Manhattan's Via Christie Village and started therapy for the paralysis. I was so angry and I'm very, very depressed. The therapy included writing and eventually led to painting as Myrna worked to regain her fine motor skills. She started out from being able to mimic paintings to starting to get into something that she's building from her own imagination. So how she would hold the paintbrush and how she would master the strokes with very limited mobility. And it was just, it was amazing to me. Then in 2011, Myrna had a dream. She was giving out Christmas cards to the troops in Iraq. And my daughter, she said, well, why don't you do it here and mail it instead of going to Iraq? Why don't you mail it there? And she did. She hand painted and wrote 2,000 cards to the troops and mailed them through the American Red Cross. This year, she made thousands of cards and created two paintings for the Manhattan Fire Department and the Riley County Police. It's nice to have the people out in the community thinking about what we're doing and, and bringing things in to, to let us have reminders here. It was a very uh, cool painting because it featured a lot of different colors. She named it the eye in the middle of a fire, which I don't think we could be even more thankful for. It was an incredibly thoughtful gift. For Myrna, painting is the gift that keeps on giving. It's a gift for me. I'm no longer very angry and I'm no longer depressed, so I have something to do. And I've become very passionate with that painting. Kenya Mills, 13 News.